qua hello it's coming i promise it's coming you just can't see it yet you can only see but a smidgen Another nightmare about LCD sound system, you guys. Only this time, I didn't wake up in a minute with a panic attack, but I did oversleep, and now I'm like an hour and a half late for work again. dream was uh, not anywhere near as like realistic as the last one though. Like, I don't know if you guys watched my other video where I was talking about Nancy Wang rejecting me in a pool, but it was pretty devastating. <laughs> this dream. And, you know, maybe I have this dream because, like, they're about to release their new album, like, tomorrow. And, yeah, I have this dream that, like, it was just a terrible fucking concert. <laughs> I know that that's not going to happen, you guys. Like, it's just, like, a fear of mine. And I, I waited around to meet them, and I didn't meet them. They would probably talk to their fans. Like, they seem like they give a fuck. They seem like they give way more than a fuck. Yeah, that's good. I hope so. I hope I'm right about that. Oh. But once again, I had... I had that reoccurring dream that I was like crashing in the same car it's like it's because you start smoking again yeah that probably has everything to do with it I know that I know that Jesus Christ you just had a lighter you just had it like how would you like that cigarette just light it out of thin air, baby. It's right there. See, this just complicates things, you guys. My life is already pretty fucking complicated enough with my double-ended dildo depression. <laughs> you ever wake up and, uh, You just tell yourself that the world is one giant shit ball, you know? <laughs> well, that, that is what it is, right? Yeah, because humans are on it. If it were just animals, we wouldn't have fucking global warming. <laughs> well, technically we don't, according to the conservatives. Yeah. If only we could just listen to the conservatives, right? <laughs> They're so right about everything. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I don't think that, like, the liberals are so right about everything either, but I think they're a little bit more accurate than the conservatives are. Just, just a tad. <sighs> so last night, I wrote a very offensive thought list. 
but it's so passionate. I, I mean, it's, it's only funny to people that feel the exact same way about the issue that I do. You know, and I realized that that it's not wise to do like super duper offensive material, especially in the South, when it's, it's pretty clear that like most people still have a stick up their ass. Even if they do comedy. You know, I just, I know that it's right though. Like the last time that I felt this good about a set list, I really pissed off a big black girl in the scene. So, and not that I'm worried that she's gonna be at my shows or anything, because, you know, I kind of fucked that up. I feel like I was already like well on my way to fucking that up. You know, not with her, but just like with, you know, people in the scene. Like, I feel like eventually I was bound to say something that was going to like hit a nerve with somebody, you know, that was like well respected. And I wasn't even going to like intentionally do that or like mean to do that or want to do that. But it's just what happens with me. I love it when people tell me shit like, just be yourself. Do you know who I am, motherfucker? I don't think you do. These videos, this is like a way more accurate representation of who I truly am. And I see people unsubscribing almost as quickly as they subscribe, so. Don't tell me to be myself. It's like people that tell you to be yourself, those are like boring ass people, you know? They probably don't question anything and <laughs> they don't present a problem to anybody. So they just assume like, oh, well, she's a nice girl. Like, I mean, I am a nice girl. I'm really fucking nice. I just have like really mean thoughts because I've double ended dildo depression and I think that the world is a giant shit ball. Like, <laughs> And I guess I really hate myself or I would be smoking, you know? So I feel like I quit smoking out of self-love, you know? Like I told myself, that I needed to stop punishing myself. So here I go again with that, you know? And like, I gave myself like a new quitting date. So it's gonna be the day that LCD Sound System <laughs> releases their new album. <laughs> This somehow relates to all that, okay? Like, because they're kind of sort of starting over in a way. And I know that James Murphy, like, is very uncomfortable about it, as he should be. And I don't want to say that, like, him deciding to, like, quit the band and, like, do other projects and try to live an actual life. Like, I'm not saying that that was the wrong decision. Like, at the time, it probably felt like the right decision, you know? As most wrong decisions feel at the time, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, no, I, I want to do this. I don't want to constantly be expected to do that. I get that. That's why I don't always play the piano every time I get on stage. Because people expect that from me. They expect me to be some sort of musical comedian. And, like, I'm not even a fucking musician, you know? Like, I have to practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. And I still fuck shit up when I'm in front of other people. It's really frustrating. And the stuff that I'm most passionate about, the stuff that I know is real, 
is stuff that nobody's going to understand or find amusing or funny or yeah but you might get those like few people that really fucking get it and i feel like it's worth it because you got those few people that really fucking got it at that show that you offended people at you know I just want to take down the baddies. That's all I want to do. Just take down the baddies. And people are going to see me as the bad guy. You know? Like, I want to take down all the feminists that aren't really feminists, that are just feminists because it's a fucking fad. Like, hashtag, I guess my vagina isn't only for popping out babies. Hashtag, I really care about this political issue, I swear. Hashtag, I just want attention. Hashtag, I not so secretly hate myself. God. I'm so glad I ate that pocket too, man. Like, cause I, I just feel like a fucking cannon about to be shot out. <laughs> you know? You ever feel like that? I feel like that a lot. I have a feeling I'm gonna get written up today. You know what's gonna happen is your hours are probably gonna get cut. Because like you keep saying, oh, put me on the schedule, put me on the schedule, and then like you show up late or you don't show up at all because of your anxiety or depression, you know? And like but I'm not using that shit as an excuse, man. Like, that's a real fucking thing. And just because other people don't have to deal with it the way that I do, I, I don't want to use it as a fucking excuse, though. I really don't. I really don't. Fuck, I just broke my cigarette. Oh, well. It's supposed to happen. Um... I gotta go, y'all. Mighty late.